Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I want to walk you through how to transfer all of your data from an old Android phone to a new Motorola phone. Any Motorola phone that you've purchased within the last two years, simply follow the steps all the way through and you're going to be able to transfer pictures, videos, contacts, text messages, and more. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my old phone here. It's unlocked, ready to go. I've got my new phone right here. If Wi-Fi is available, you'll want to connect to it. Um, the method I'm going to show you is going to require a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to first connect to Wi-Fi by tapping on one of my networks here. It's going to ask you for the password. I'm going to put that in right now. And after you enter that code, it's going to take you to your next screen. Now, pause. For those of you that are not seeing the same thing I'm seeing on my screen, uh, maybe you're seeing this on your screen. Maybe your phone is already set up. And you're saying, well, how do I transfer my data if my phone is already set up? Unfortunately, if your phone is already on this screen, we will have to factory reset the phone first to get to this special menu that's going to allow us to transfer the data. Unfortunately, this is the only way to do it. So let me walk you through what you need to do. So on your phone, you're going to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, tap on the settings wheel in the bottom right corner. From here, you'll want to swipe up and you'll want to go to system and then you'll want to go to reset options and you're going to tap on factory data reset. Now, when you select that, that's going to reset your phone completely back to factory settings and then you will see exactly what I'm seeing on my screen. So unfortunately, if you don't follow those steps, there's no way to transfer your data using the built-in method provided by Google and Motorola. So just that's a disclaimer. So from here, let's keep moving. We're going to hit accept and continue. Okay. Now this is the screen that you want to get on. This is where all the magic is going to happen. Copy apps and data. So here's what you'll need to do. You're going to hit next. So the method is trying to recommend first is to use a cable. And if you have a cable that you can connect from your new phone to your old phone, this is one of the most ideal ways to transfer your data because it's faster, but most folks will not have the special adapter needed to do this. It's called an OTG adapter. It looks just like this. You'll have a USB on one side and you'll have a type C on the other end. So if you have one of these, great. This is the most ideal way to do it. But if you don't have this, I'm going to show you how to do it over Wi-Fi. Okay. So if you have the adapter, you'll want to plug this into your new phone and the other end, you're going to plug in your charging cable, the USB end and plug in the type C into the other phone. Now, if you don't have that, no problem. Here's what you need to do. We're going to hit next and you're going to tap on no cable. Okay. Here it says copying without a cable. Um, it's letting you know it's going to take a little bit longer. Listen, if it's the only option available, it's what you got to do. We're just going to hit copy without a cable. Now at the bottom here, it's asking, are you switching from an iPad or an iPhone? If the answer is no, guess what? You don't need to tap anything. But if this was an iPhone, guess what? You would simply tap here and that would give you options to connect to an old iPhone. But because it's an Android phone, we're just going to hit next. Open the Google app on your old phone. So we're going to swipe up. I'm going to find that G right here. Next. Set up my device. And so there it's going to get it into the mode that's ready to transfer data. We're going to hit next on both phones. And now they're going to begin to look for each other. And just that fast, they found each other. We want to make sure these symbols match what they wish they do. We're going to hit next again. It's asking, do you want to copy to your new device? We're going to hit copy. If you have a code on your phone, it's going to ask you to verify it. So go ahead and do that. So here it is. It's showing us how much data we have on that old phone and how much we can transfer over. It's going to show it's going to take about 14 minutes to transfer that 5.6 gigs of data. And you can always go through here and decide, hey, you know what? I don't want you to take the music or, hey, I don't want you to take my call history. You can decide what you want to transfer and not transfer or leave it alone. Come down and hit copy and that will start the transfer process. From here, you're just going to let both phones sit. 
The goal is keep them together so the transfer can be smooth. If you separate the phones too far, it's going to stop them from doing the transfer. All right. You will see some pop-ups here. It's going to ask you about linking it to your Google account. You'll want to just swipe down, hit accept. And you have an option to set a pin for the phone if you want. I'm going to skip this. I don't want a pin right now. I just want to do the transfer. And here, it's going to continue to do the transfer. And it's going to ask about setting up some other things. I'm going to skip those for now. Skip that. And then it's going to just take kind of a long stretch of time while it transfers all of your information. So I just wanted to share with you guys that I just switched to Mint Mobile and I'm actually saving a good amount of money on my phone bill now. It only took me 15 minutes to switch over and move my number into their service. Uh, they do run on the nation's largest 5G network and they've got plans starting at just around $15 a month. So if you're looking to save some money on your bill, check out Mint Mobile. I'll have the link below in the description of where you can sign up and get started. And hey, it's tough economic times. It's a great time to consider what bills you can lower to just give you a little more money in your pocket. So anyway, that'll be in the description if you want to check it out. All right, guys, our transfer is now done. It took uh, a little bit less than the time it initially uh, prompted us. And guess what? That's it. Uh, now it's time to finish setting your phone up. You're gonna simply hit more, and it's gonna, you know, obviously the phone will ask you if you wanna share data with the carrier. I always say no. Let's accept, continue, and a few more clicks, and basically your phone is gonna be set up and ready to go. So, hope you guys found that helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.